Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, of course, the making videos as people asking questions, which is great, actually. And um, I'm here to answer the questions, of course. So the one that popped up today, and I'm sure that many of you probably think the same thing, uh, is the fact that we're moving to pass keys. Um, is it really safe? Is it really safer than the passwords? What's the advantage of a passkey? So first, let's talk about passwords. Passwords have always been known for being rather insecure. And the reason behind this, uh, even if you have really good passwords, but the reason behind this is that passwords can be, uh, for the most part, a lot of people have bad passwords and repeat the same password everywhere. This increases the risk of your accounts being uh, hacked into and that is often what happens. People losing access to their Facebook account. Why? Most of them is because the password's too simple or it's the same password they used in other accounts. They had data breaches, they found passwords, they tried it, and they got into the account. Um, that's for the most part. Uh, passwords are also um, unsafe in another way. You might be spoofed by a fake website that is asking you to enter a password. So a fake uh, Facebook page, a fake Google Gmail account, and you entered a password, but you entered it in a imitation. So you've got, you just gave your password to bad guys. So there are different things like that that make password uh, unsecure. And the other bad thing, and that has always been the case when I was a tech guy, it was the one of the number one complaints, um, no, I don't want to have 57 different passwords to remember. Yeah, but that's security. But it annoys everybody. So um, a lot of people are like, um, I don't know. So what is a passkey and how is it more secure? Well, a passkey, first of all, any accounts that requires passkeys will not require passwords. So you don't log into your account with a password anymore. And what happens is that passkeys require that you use your own devices. So what does that mean? That means that your passkeys will actually rely on the fact that you're logging in from known secure devices that you have. You won't be able to log into a system with somebody else's devices because those devices are not recognized. So in a case like that, you will have to have something that the account will recognize. So in being in a friend's house, for example, you want to enter or you're in vacation, you want to enter your you check your Gmail. Well, better have something that is recognizable. For example, your smartphone. If you used your smartphone, well, you when you set up the passkey, there was a QR code that showed up on the screen, and that QR code was actually scanned by your phone, and that pass that QR code created a passkey that is stored within your phone. So when you log in, it's going to ask you, well, you got to log in using the passkey from a known device. Uh, in this case, it would be your phone. Passkeys could be different devices, could be more than one. And the reason that you are safer with passkeys is just that. It uses only your devices. If you get a spoofed page, they can't spoof the passkey. You know, they can ask you for a password and then you're hacked. But the passkey doesn't do anything. It doesn't give them any credentials that they could use to enter your accounts. So they can't, you know, do any phishing attempts to try to get into your accounts since there's no information. Uh, everything is encrypted and no information is visible in a way that you can actually enter that account except for the real, real account. So your real Gmail or et, et, et cetera. Uh, Apple is also moving towards passkeys a lot. Um, if you entered on an account that has been compromised, 
For example, say there's a malware. Well, that account, because it's a passkey and not a password, there's no way once you've logged out from that account that anything can happen because that account was used temporarily on that device. Although, if somebody would be able to log the device and actually be going through that device, could technically maybe change things. But even then, even if somebody would be there to access while you're online, you'd end up with, well, um, you got to have the passkey if you want to change this security setting or change that other setting. So, you know, it, it adds really a layer of security. It's not 100%, nothing is. Um, anybody thinking, oh, well, that's the securest way now. Uh, it's a secure way. It's better than the passwords. You don't have to remember any passwords. Um, and it requires you to use fingerprint, uh, face recognition, um, it, uh, you know, scanning with your phone's camera code uh, or entering a pin from your device. But that always stays your devices. You can't do that from anywhere else. Um, so it, it makes it more secure. And it adds the fact that, well, no more remembering of passwords. Of course, you got to have different devices. You got to have, you know, um, ways to do it. You don't have and don't need a pass a, a, a smartphone for a passkey. For example, if you have your laptop, all you'll need for a passkey to work is that in your Windows session that you create a password. So that means that in your computer you're going to create your password, yeah. and then it's going to tell you, well, now to log into. You know, any account, you just have to enter your password of your PC. In my case, it's a PIN because I've chosen to have a PIN. And if you use fingerprint to open your laptop or face recognition, that's going to be used for the passkey. So it can work with your own device. But your device needs to be secure for passkeys to work. Every device you use with passkeys will also need to have a password or be locked with some security, fingerprint, face recognition, and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.